again, YouTubers. It's Todd uh, from the skates.co.uk scooter team here again uh, with the second of our instructional videos on how to bling up your scooter. Uh, this, uh, this afternoon, I'm going to be showing you how to bolt your folding mechanism on your JD bug, which is a crucial part of making it ready for the skate park. By folding mechanism, I'll get this out of the way. By folding mechanism, I mean this little part here. That means that you can fold and unfold your scooter. But generally, when you're using it at the skate park, not so, not so necessary to have that function. Maybe if you're jumping on and off the bus, but if you wanted to do some cool tricks, then not really the best thing to have. Now, first thing, another thing you don't need is this little strap. So, can you get rid of that? Keep it out of my way. Now, there's some fiddly bits to this, and there's some tools you're going to need. I've got a load lined up here. First things first, if you didn't get, if you get one of the uh, the extreme editions of the JD Bug, then this bolt set will come with it. If you get one of the lower level ones, you will have to purchase one from our site, or you can go down to a local hardware store and find some regular bolt, uh, some bolts that will match them. But the, if you buy the JD Bug ones, they come as standard in the packet. It's not too expensive either. Now, fiddly bits. Uh, we need first thing we need is a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and we're going to just need to pop off these little E rings here. So you just need to get underneath them. It can take a little bit of time. And uh, generally get a parent or adult to help you. Just need to pop that off. So after you've uh, pinged your little, tiny little ring off, got that little bad boy off, then we need to start removing our plastic casing. That just slides off. It's just a bendy little plastic bit that comes off the back. Just a little tug will pull that off. Then we come round, we fold it round to the other side. And it is attached again to the bolt on this side. Now this bolt needs to come out anyway, so to get that out, we just you might need to tap it through from the other side. Give it a little tap, then undo the little clip bit like you've done on the other side, and slide the bolt out. Now in the middle of this, there is a spring attached. You just need to, you can see up inside there. Hopefully it, it should just pull off, but you might need to get something down just to un unhook the spring because it hooks in to the middle bit. There's a little groove in the middle there. You might need to just flick the spring off that. Now, once that bolts out, the whole of your JD bug will fall in half. Don't, don't fret. It's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll be uh, putting it all back together in a second with our new stronger bolt system. OK, so our JD is in two parts. Now, what we're going to do is we have to remove all of these bolts and parts of the folding mechanism before we can put the stronger bolts in. So. Inside there you've got the spring and all the gubbins for making the folding mechanism work and we want to remove all this so if you push down on your handle here you'll see the spring can pop out the bottom and then we want to slide this bolt out the side. Again your spring might get in the way like it did on the previous bit you just gotta kind of fiddle about and get it unattached and it should pop out like that that to one side. Watch out, it'll be greasy. Then remove your spring so it's not rattling around inside. There we go, springs out. Now this part, if you it's not vital to take it away, but um, most people do want to take it away because it's, uh, it's a bit of an eyesore. So again, just gotta pop off. Another one of these E-rings. So as I said, you've got to remove this little uh, fiddly E-ring thing. Here's one I actually popped off earlier, so I uh, can uh, show you. It just pops off like the ones you did earlier on the plastic. And then you can start removing all your bits here. So first, you just pull it out, and the spring and the handle all come out. And then if you tip it up, out the mechanism will come. Just a little thing. Won't need that anymore. Okay, so now we have a completely bare head tube and a completely bare folding mechanism. Now this is where our bolts come into play. So either, either of uh, these are, will, will have arrived with your scooter or you can purchase a pair from skates.co.uk website. Take them out. You've got actually a set of instructions in there as well. There, uh, so if you forget anything, or, uh, uh, but obviously it's good to see it done in person. So you've got three bolts here. Two are the same and one is a little bit fatter. So where these all go through is when you slot it back together, 
One's going to go through the bottom where you took out the original bolt. So through here, that's one of your small ones. So you can take that off. It comes with washers, so make sure you put one washer on the front on uh, each end because that will uh, stop stuff sliding about. So that goes through where the original bolt that you took out, well, it wasn't even a bolt, it was just like a bar, it goes through there. So you line it up and slot it through. Takes a little bit of fidgeting to get it in place. There we go. All the way through. Okay, hit it. First try. You can see it's just coming through. There we go. Through she goes. And then you can stick your washer and your nut on there. Just tighten it up hand tight because you're going to need to slide everything else about. First bolt through there. Take your second bolt, the same one again, the other small one. And this will run through the back of the mechanism there. And then your nut. Washer and nut. Slide on there and hand tight again. Now, bolt number three is your larger one. knocked all the way down. Don't want it up at the top of the slot because that won't do anything. You want it all the way down into the bottom of the slot. And then don't forget washer on. Stop vibrations bringing it undone. And then hand tight once more. Now you can see that already, even though I haven't even tied it up, there's very little movement in there. And all you need to do now is go around with your Allen keys and your spanners. So you need a set of Allen keys and a set of spanners just to tighten them up. Uh, one side is an Allen key, the other side is a spanner. Just go around, tighten them all up nice and tight. Don't over tighten them because you might bend your folding mechanism at all. But get them nice so they're nice and tight and there shouldn't be any movement once you're done with it. And that is how to bolt your foldy on your JD Bug scooter. Uh, if you need any advice, feel free to email us or come and see the site at skates.co.uk. There you can get all the parts or the complete scooter that you need.